I worked with him, I think, one time. And that's what I wanted to get out of it. I think I worked with Steve one time, and then after that I saw what was going on. I went, oh, my knee, because I didn't want to be in a group. When you're in a group, you kind of go down as far as the group, but you always want to be here if you can. Would you have expected him to go on to the success that he had in those days? Well, Steve is a good guy, but I never would have thought, because it was such an opposite look. I mean, you had a guy stunning Steve with the chick, and he had the, the long blonde hair, and it was such the opposite. It was almost like a beach boy hippie look. It was such the opposite of the shaved head, little goatee, tough guy. I, I, I would never have thought that Steve did that, but when he did it, it was, it was great. And I'm gonna tell you one of the reasons it got over. One, Steve was very good. And, and when he did that look, for those days, it was kind of a new look of, of the era. He went through the hippie look, he went through this look, and now he went to a generation where the balder guys were shaving their heads because they didn't want to be bald. Right. But he, but he came along at the time when cable television was loosening the rules of broadcasting. He was the first guy that came on television and could say this, I'm gonna catch a beer and I'm gonna kick your ass. He was the first guy that could look tough and that could talk tough. Even when he was saying, kick your ass on TV, TBS, TNT, you could not say ass on TV. Right. Steve came along at the time when he was the first guy that could really talk like a tough guy and say words you couldn't say on TV before. Those right timing and the right look. And when every once in a while that happens, and now you're in a spot where you're kind of coming down, and I got a guy that's the right time with the right look for down the road.